my darlings, welcome to a brand new vlog. I thought I would share a little bit more of a kind of summer morning routine to start today's vlog because I seem to have got into a bit of a habit, a bit more of a routine lately and hopefully some more sunny days are coming. Um, so I always find that I stick to my routines better when the weather's good, when it's a rainy day, I just open the shutters and I'm like, nope, <laughs> back to bed. So this video is also me manifesting this to become my morning routine even more permanently, if that makes sense. So I'm usually waking up at around or between half five and six. And whereas I used to go straight downstairs, well, actually, no, that's a lie. So what I do first is some really, really quick skincare. I wake up, go into the bathroom, use a micellar water, and then pop a little bit of eye cream on. And I'll show you what eye cream I'm using um, when I go back inside. Brush my hair, pop on some lip balm, and then go downstairs. I just feel like then my skin can be clean while I'm doing the next parts of my morning routine. Go downstairs, and then at that point, I would usually have my coffee after a glass of water, but I'm trying now to save my coffee until after my workout and after my shower. I've just heard so many people talking about how you really shouldn't caffeinate yourself straight away. It can be really bad at dehydrating your body, so that's what I'm trying to adjust. Um, so about 10, 15 minutes, having a glass of water, kissing the dogs, and to be honest, during that 15 minutes, if it's a nice day, I'll usually go down to the kitchen garden and turn the sprinklers on, <laughs> very exciting. But also, it's just nice to get a little bit of fresh air. The dogs come out with me as well. So that's just kind of become part of the routine. And then I will head up to my dressing room. I might pop a serum on my skin, I might not, um, and I'll pop on my fitness clothing, my workout gear, and then I will come into the gym. So usually my favorite thing to do is a 30 minute Peloton. I usually just do like a feel good ride, but annoyingly the Wi-Fi has been really bad these past couple of days. So as you might have seen, I bought a mat down here. We keep all of our gym equipment, uh, the kind of loose stuff in here. <laughs> So we've got a battle rope, we've got a few mats, we've got some um, blocks, some, what are they called, resistance bands all in there. And then today, because uh, the Wi-Fi was bad, I did a Blogilates thigh shaking workout, which was actually really, really good. Blimmin' heck, my battery is flashing at me again. <laughs> when will I learn to charge it? And then I thought I would risk the Wi-Fi and do a 20-minute Peloton. It was very hit and miss, so I'm not gonna lie, I stuck Love Island on my iPhone. What I do as well is I, I watch it the morning after. I've paid the $3.99 for ITV Hub, so I don't get any adverts. And to be honest, I'll normally just have that playing in the background while I'm doing bits and bobs in the morning. If I've showered while I'm doing my hair, I'll just have it, have it on in the background so I know what's going on. Um, but I'm not like glued to it in the evening and I just can't tolerate watching adverts. So on YouTube, I have YouTube premium. I'm very happy to spend $3.99 and not get adverts. And then you can also download the episodes. This vlog is not sponsored by Love Island, but that's what I did. I popped the, um, because the class was on and off, on and off with the Wi-Fi signal on the Peloton, I popped my phone on the handlebars, watched Love Island and actually gave myself a really good workout, did a little stretch. And now I'm gonna head back inside and I'll show you my kind of updated smoothie superfood, uh, superfood smoothie recipe because I have switched up a little bit. I did do a reel on Instagram, um, but I thought I would show you a bit more thoroughly. just come down and moved the sprinklers and collected my spinach for my smoothie. We have got more spinach than I will ever know what to do with. I usually feature my garden updates towards the end of my very long vlogs, so if you haven't seen an update, it is looking incredibly bountiful. It is just, everything is doing so, so well down here. I'm trying to prevent my lettuce from bolting, which is when it just shoots up, it goes a little bit crazy, and that usually happens when it's really hot and doesn't get enough water, so that's why I've got the sprinklers on just for a couple of hours this morning. I planted this spinach as plugs, so I did try to grow some from seed, mixed results. So what I have done with the spinach and also some of my kale, 
which is oh, this tiny little baby here. I only planted that a few days ago. But my lettuce, my spinach, and my green lettuce here were all planted as plugs from Dalesford. And I think I'm just going to do that um, next year as well because they perform so, so well. I think a tray of six plugs, which is what I got for each of these, um, in fact, that's a lie. It was a mixed box and I think it was five pounds I paid for all of the lettuce and spinach put together, five pounds. And then for six little baby kales, so six seedlings about this big, was £2.50. And given that Dalesford is known for being really expensive, I thought that was really, really good. My broad bean towers are just insane. We have so, so many broad beans coming through. Even though they're not quite ripe, I have still been eating them because I'm very impatient. I made an incredible broad bean and pea pasta last night. It was scrumptious. My carrots seem to be growing well quite a lot of beetroot down there as well. I'm not too sure when I'm meant to pull that up, but I think we're getting pretty close. Not sure if I can do anything with the beetroot leaves either. Might have a little look, perhaps they can be used as salad leaves. And then there's a little empty space here and I have got some, uh, I think, parsnips and potentially... Actually, I can't remember. <laughs> Looks like there's some more. I think I've got rainbow carrots in here, but I did do these from seeds as well, so... In fact, everything in this bed I have grown from seed, which is really, really satisfying. Some of the peas are starting to climb up this mini chicane that I made, more broad beans, lots of little pea pods on there, and I'm not gonna go any further because of the sprinkler, but you can see on the little archway, metal archway thing there, I've got some runner beans growing up, some lovely sweet peas growing up the obelisk, and then down there is my peony and rose wild garden area slash cutting area and I do come down if we've got any friends coming over to make a bunch of flowers or decorate the house with fresh blooms it's all very wholesome <laughs> oh and then I'm not sure if you can see I don't want to get too much closer because I don't want to get my leggings wet but this bathtub over here is filled with edible flowers which is really lovely again I'm going to have a look at some recipes later on today I am actually heading into London today so it's the perfect day to start off with a superfood smoothie so let's head into the kitchen and blend this up. So I've showed my morning smoothie a million times on my channel, but there are a few small changes. Very annoyingly, today we seem to have run out of bananas, and I do usually put a banana in and also some chia seeds, which I learnt a couple of weeks ago. Charlie and I went to a um, kind of yoga weekend. We learnt that, well, most people already know this, but I didn't. You're meant to soak your chia seeds and your oats before putting them in a smoothie. So that's what I would usually have done with the chia seeds. And I do soak my oats from the moment I wake up. And then they get to soak while I'm in the gym, etc. And that just gives the smoothie a little bit more sustenance. It keeps me full for a little bit longer. Something else that we learned was that you, sh you should have something solid with your smoothie if you do have a liquid breakfast. So I like to have a little handful of nuts as well. And then... What I do is when we have frozen, when we have berries from a farmer's market or from um, a local shop, I'll freeze them as soon as possible because that keeps them nice and fresh. This isn't obviously the world's healthiest smoothie. There's a lot of sugary fruits in there, but for me it's important that it tastes really nice. Then I pop in some of this. I've always been a big fan of, is it the Beauty Chef? Yes, Beauty Chef. This is their Cleanse Inner Beauty Powder, a biofermented food supplement. Um, and I pop a little bit of that, that's the last of this one, in the smoothie as well. Just as a little treat, I also add in some peanut butter, which is very, very tasty. Sorry if you can hear our washing machine going off in the background. And something else that I've switched lately is sometimes I will, instead of using an almond milk or a hazelnut milk in here, I'll just use water because I find that with the spinach, usually with the creaminess of the banana as well, it doesn't really need a nut milk, um, which I guess makes it a little bit healthier as well. Just small changes. Then I will add my bee pollen and my puffed quinoa on top, just to give it a little bit more texture. Okay, freshly showered and I now have my cup of coffee. And at this point in the morning, 
it just goes down so much better because I feel like I really want it and I need that little sugar hit. I am a two sugars in my coffee kind of person and I'm trying to cut that down a little bit. My second coffee of the day, I have switched to Stevia, which is like an artificial sugar. And I know it's probably the most 90s thing ever. I'm, I'm often very slow to these kinds of things, but I do need to reduce my sugar a little bit. So yeah, maybe when I get used to having my Stevia coffee, I can put it down to one coffee in my sugar, one sugar in my coffee in the mornings. We'll see, but for now, I'm just gonna enjoy my two sugar oat milk latte. So while I'm enjoying my coffee, that is when I do my post shower skincare. Now the theme for this morning <laughs> seems to be superfoods and that very much continues in my skincare. Today, the day that I'm filming this, I'm posting a really, really fun reel for Elemis for their superfood range. I would love for you to go and check it out. It was so much fun to film and we filmed it so quickly because we had like an hour window of sunshine and I just wanted it to be a sunny and fun reel. So please go and check that out. Leave an orange heart in the comments if you checked out the reel from this video. This part of the video is also very kindly in partnership with Elemis. And I feel like Elemis is known for some of the iconic products like the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. And this is one of my favorite everyday moisturizers. And also of course the Pro Cleansing um, Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. The Pro Collagen range is one which I will always be a fan of. I used the Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser in the shower. I like that that one foams up a little bit. But a range from Elemis, which I also adore and is amazing for this time of year, is their superfood range. So, as you might be able to guess, this range has fruit actives within it from superfood ingredients, just like my smoothie this morning, packed with superfoods. So is this skincare. So I'm going to start with the superfood fruit vinegar liquid glow radiance facial toner. The packaging on this I really really like. You just have to press your reusable cotton pad down a few times on the lid and it's one of those products that's really easy to fit into your routine. So after you've cleansed, maybe in the shower, maybe just normally in the evenings as well. <laughs> Everything is spooking Dickens these days. He's howling again. Um, and you literally just swipe it across the complexion. So this is a really good way because it has got those fruit enzymes in there. It really gently just nibbles away at those dead skin cells which might be clogging up your pores. So it's a great way of giving a glow to the complexion but without the harshness of a physical scrub. Sometimes when I use, I used to have one in the shower, I've actually ditched it now. You know the scrubs that have bits in, that they are quite satisfying feeling but when you think about what they're actually doing to the skin it's a little bit abrasive so i do prefer to get my exfoliation through my toner and even just the action of swiping the cotton pad across the skin is exfoliating as well but also the fruit enzymes within this are just slowly but surely gently exfoliating the skin leaving you with your glowing fresh skin underneath i feel like i didn't put quite enough on there i'm going to go in for a second bout bout is that the word second bout <laughs> So this has got the AHAs from, is it apple cider vinegar or just apple vinegar? I think apple vinegar, but also apricots and peach. And then you've also got soothing ingredients in here, like from prickly pear, which is a really ironic name because it does the opposite for your skin. Pretty sure it's actually a type of cactus and it helps to balance out the skin's microbiome. So as well as exfoliating and getting rid of the dead skin cells, there are also ingredients in this, which the skin just loves and helps to soothe it afterwards. So you're really getting so many benefits in one product. I like to focus it on my chin. This is an area that I always feel needs a little bit of extra resurfacing because I do tend to get some blemishes around here, which this is really good for, as well as helping with the appearance of pores. Something else that I really wanna get more into is matcha. I always hear people talking about the benefits of matcha and I think it is caffeinated, like it does wake you up, but it's meant to be much better for you than coffee. So <laughs> I watched something on this morning the other day where Phil and Holly were trying matcha and they made it look quite gross, but I definitely need to try it out. But I tried it in, was it Copenhagen? 
yeah, an oat milk one, and it was really, really nice. But anyway, my eye cream is the Matcha Eye Dew Refreshing Eye Gel, and this is the other new product as part of the Elemis Superfood range. So just like a matcha tea, this works to really help to refresh and invigorate the eye area. What I love about this, you probably can't even see it, which I guess is the point. It's a really, really lightweight eye gel. And I have to say, I've mentioned a million times that my eye area is my main kind of area of concern when it comes to signs of aging. Sometimes I find that creams can just be a little bit too thick and I sometimes find that they make my eye bags look worse. Maybe it's just too much heavy product. Whereas this is really nice and lightweight, it's just instantly absorbed into the skin. It's also super cooling and hydrating. So this is what I put on first thing in the morning. Doesn't really matter that I put it on twice. I don't think you can overdose on eye cream. Um, but this is what I put on first thing in the morning. And because it is so cooling, my eyes just instantly feel brighter and more alert. Alert? Awake. Ingredients wise, this has got kiwi and honeydew melon in there. So really good at nourishing, brightening and soothing the under eye area. All things which I feel like we need all throughout the year, but especially in summer, as well as that hydration, which you just get throughout the day. And many of the products within the new Elemis Superfood range contain a prebiotic. And that's what I was mentioning earlier. That's also in the toner. They really help the skin to build on its microbiome, which helps it to protect itself. It's essentially the skin's different layer so it actually enables your skin to look after itself and protect itself more from environmental aggressors signs of aging pollution and things like that so not only are you getting the short-term benefits of for example with the eye cream brightness depuffing cooling and hydrating you're also getting those long-term benefits from the prebiotic ingredients so your skin can help itself which is amazing one final reason that i love this is it works really well under makeup on days like today i mean time has managed to escape from me i need to leave in 20 minutes to get the train to london safe to say i'm not going to be able to do anything with my hair but luckily i can apply my makeup straight away so i'm going to do that really quickly um, and then i'll show you a few of my finishing touches i'm also going to leave my pro collagen moisturizer link down below because if you have not tried this it is an icon for a reason. This is also a real favourite of my friends and family and family friends that are a little bit more mature, let's say, because it is so good anti-aging and just so luxurious to apply. My apologies, darlings. Not sure if you can hear me very well, but I ended up being in a huge rush to leave the house to catch my train earlier on, but as you might be able to guess, from all the background noise, we are now in London. I can see the red brick buildings of Knightsbridge ahead, so I'm almost at my lunch destination. I've been asking my friend Em about this place that she keeps putting on her Instagram stories where you basically eat pasta out of a giant cheese. <laughs> I've wanted to go there for so long. And she said it's Osteria Romana. So that is where we have booked for lunch. I'm going to meet Em and Emily as well. So it should be a nice little girly lunch catch up. We're almost there. So I shall show you what the pasta looks like. Also behind the scenes, life of a YouTuber. I just found out that tonight's video needs a few amends being made. Look how dirty my screen is. So I'm having to re-edit and export while in the taxi and then hope that somewhere that I visit during the day, whether it's the restaurant or I'm heading to John Lewis later on for an Elemis facial, hopefully one of those places has enough Wi-Fi that I can upload tonight's video before my battery dies. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be touch and go. <laughs> So, tucked down this little alleyway, I can't believe I've never seen this before, is Osteria Romana. It is so gorgeous. Em, <laughs> waving at the camera, says that this is her. And Emily, we're here together. Em said this is her, this is your date location. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. Em features it on her Instagram all the time. So we have just got our starter. I'm on the rose. Mortadella. I think it's like a ricotta something or other. And it's on a flatbread. Charlie could definitely do this in the Della Vita at home. Yum! I definitely thought mortadella was cheese. But... We were just tucking into our cacio e pepe and Em's phone starts to buzz 
And do you want to explain what just happened? Okay. Well, we're all a bit shaken. So it was a FaceTime call from my friend Christina, who Josie actually met at the She's retreat. She's all of our friends. She's, now. She, I introduced yeah. her because I knew that she would get on very well with the group. She's our Californian queen, Christina, if you're watching her. And she FaceTimed me telling me that she just got engaged. Ah! And I knew it was happening because I've been speaking with her fiance. Oh my god. <laughs> and he was like, um, just wait for the FaceTime. And I saw the FaceTime. I was like, Scream. we all just screamed. It was so crazy. It was just so amazing. That's just like made my day, yeah. as Emily has been saying. Oh, guys, let me show you the picture. We love love. Yeah, we love So love. I took a picture. Look at that. <laughs> so cute. How amazing. Oh so my God. cheers to that. We Christina, love we are so happy so for you. So happy. Can't wait for the wedding. Oh, yeah. So we decided to come to Instagram's favorite cafe. This is the Elan that has got the little ponies and this gorgeous seating area just for a takeaway coffee. Such a cute little floor wall. Well, that was such a lovely lunch with the girls. My cacio e pepe, it looked like a normal sized portion, but it was so huge I couldn't even finish it. And I definitely feel like I need a nap after that much pasta. But I have got my second oat milk latte of the day with stevia in it for my um, little wake up call because I'm heading now to John Lewis on Oxford Street to say goodbye to the girls and I'm gonna have a mini Elemis facial. I've had facials at the house of Elemis before, most heavenly experience in the whole world, um, but I've never had one at John Lewis before. So I think it's like a mini, mini quick version, which is great because I always feel like after a day in London, I know I've only been here for a few hours, but I just want my skin to be cleansed. So it's gonna be really lovely. They have very kindly said, if any of you mention uh, Josie LDN, which is my Instagram handle when you're booking, they'll do three for two, which is very kind. So if you want to come with some girlfriends, it's a really nice idea. We are almost there, so I'll check back in at the Elmas counter. Just had my chin on this jazzy machine here, and currently it's analyzing my skin. I have done this a few years ago, and it can show like age spots, any fine lines and wrinkles, and dehydration. Gosh, here we go, analysis in process, and these are some of the treatments you can have here. Cleanse, polish, hydrate, energize. Okay, what's the verdict? <laughs> so this is showing that I've got quite a few pores on my cheeks, is that right? Yeah, so here we have the first one is a build up of the dead skin cells. Ooh, need to um, exfoliate more. So need to exfoliate on yes. the skin. We've got wrinkles, but we'll call it dehydration areas. Love it. Um, so this is using things like eye cream, eye masks. This will help reduce the dehydration levels. Uh huh. Your skin is quite combination. So the blue areas are dehydration. And okay. The areas are excess oil. Yep. Ooh, what's this one? Brown spot. So this is sun, sun damage. damage. Yeah. So I've got quite a lot of sun damage. Yeah. yeah. This from a very long time ago. Yeah. Using things like SPF and Dr. Okay. So this is the facial kit. So are these for exfoliation or how does it work? So what we do here is we do the double cleansing. Yeah. We use these spatulas to apply the products. Is this because of COVID? You can't use your hands? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then these two tools are used for the massage. Yeah. We'll have a little extra extra bonus massage. I, yes. lo I love a facial massage. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> what are these? It looks like a torture contraption. Yeah, so these are just spare tools for the machine. So we ah. use the biotech machine. Wow, this what do they do? Microcurrent. Wow. Um, so this is used for like lifting the skin. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, moving those uh, fine lines and wrinkles. So which facial is that? And that is the smooth lines. Wow, that's amazing.
Well, that facial was rather heavenly. I definitely fell asleep during it, <laughs> which is always a sign of a good facial. And now, as you might have guessed, I've come to my favorite place for Manny Petty, London Grace on Seymour Court, I think it is, Seymour Place in Marlebone before I hop on the train home. I have got the downstairs all to myself and it is time for a pedi. I usually tend to go for Clay Canyon on my toes and I think I'm going to stick to my usual. morning my darlings you might be thinking I look a little bit different to how I normally look and that's because I've, I'm doing my makeup in a weird order today um, I've got a lot of under eye brightener on had a lot of dark shadows under my eyes today don't know why did a really really good workout in the gym this morning with Charlie he basically designed um, essentially like a PT session and also our chiropractic and also our chiropractor friend Lewis came over as well. Um, he does a PT session with Charlie twice a week so that was that was my start to the day. You may have noticed I was just using a new Dyson and it's actually the embargo is lifting today so I can finally tell you about it. I'm going to be telling you more about it in the next vlog so stay tuned for that but um, actually there will be an IGTV going up on my Instagram today telling you all about the new Dyson hair launch so uh, go and head over to my Instagram if you'd like to find out more about that anyway back to <laughs> back to strange face um, I'm about to pop on some mascara and I just started filling in this eyebrow and I realized um, basically today I am getting my eyebrows microbladed again. I visited a lady called Shandala about five years ago. If you want a laugh, you can go and watch my super old vlog. It was before I'd had any braces. I think my face just looks so different even though all I've done, oh, and also I put way too much blusher on. I need to blend that out. I'm just justifying why my face looks a little bit strange right now. Yeah, so basically I haven't done my eyebrows yet because I wanted to be able to show you a bit of a before so that later on today you can see and after I will leave my camera rolling on a hyperlapse while I get them done um, but if you want to know more detail about the process when I last went five years ago it was a press appointment so I covered it in a lot of detail in the vlog um, I'm going just as a, a normal customer today so I'll just leave the camera in the background so it's not too intrusive so if you want to know more about the process I'll leave the five-year-old vlog <laughs> link down below as well. So now that you have seen my brows in their natural state, I'm gonna carry on doing a little bit of makeup. In fact, I wanna show you this amazing mascara that I'm using. Honestly, you should see the tripod that you guys are on right now. I don't know if you can see it. So there's the camera. You are on a nail varnish remover bottle and then one of my Dyson <laughs> boxes. And I wonder why I break so many cameras. Really random shout out as well. I'm just... I just don't remember what I used to do before wet brushes. They are literally the best hair brushes in the whole world. I seem to have quite a few different versions of them. This one's got the um, softer bristles inside, so it's really good when my hair's just a little bit damp. And then they very kindly sent me this one uh, last week as well. And this is what I use when I'm blow drying my hair. So you've got the, the bristles, which are really, they're very flexible. So it's great when your hair is damp, it doesn't snap so much. Um, and then you've got, I don't know, I just, these little short bristly ones inside. Great for detangling. I just absolutely oh, love them. So the mascara that I'm obsessed with at the moment, in fact, I will first give a shout out to this. So you may recognize um, the brand Swede and what I first discovered them for were their lash extensions individual lashes and I don't like anything too harsh. I don't ever really do a heavy makeup look, but their style is all about being a little bit more natural. So these ones are really great if you just want to add like a couple in here and there to add a little bit more definition. So that's where you may know the brand from. I think some wedding bells playing again. Um, they have released a few extra products lately. This is their Pro Eyelash Growth Serum. So it looks like this, you get a little um, brush like so and I have been using this every evening on my eyelashes it is really working I've been using it for about three weeks and I just love it 
I'm trying to do things like my brows later on today that just mean eventually my beauty routine's a little bit easier. Like, if we manage to go away anywhere this summer, spoiler alert, we have booked a holiday. Hallelujah. I just want to be able to wake up and go and not have to worry about putting lots of makeup on. So that's why I'm doing all these things. But anyway, this is their mascara. And honestly, it is absolutely incredible. It has a really unusual brush. They're not hugely long bristles. And initially I was like, that ain't gonna do anything for my lashes. You can see they're really tiny little bristles, but it kind of makes you work harder and you have to wiggle it. You have to really position it, wiggle it at the base of your lashes and then glide through. And oh my goodness, you'll see now, the volume, the definition, the separation is quite spectacular. I don't have any eyeshadow on yet. Oh, I haven't even finished doing my eyebrows. Give me two minutes and then we shall, I shall show you this amazing mascara. Okay, so I've just put on the tiniest bit. I used pinky shade from my Tom Ford palette. And now I'm going to apply the mascara. So it's called the Pro Lash Lift Mascara. I'm gonna use the end which has got the spikes on it. And because this brush is so tiny, you can literally get right in there and just comb it through. Oh my gosh, every time I use it, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful, oh my gosh. I haven't fallen this in love with a mascara in quite some time. So hopefully you can see, what if I put my ring light on? I don't know if that's any better or not. This, so that was just not even like a wiggle, that was just a glide through and that is perfect for like a natural lash. Uh, it's also because the brush is so small, great for just lightly coating the bottom lashes. As I said, I do prefer <laughs> my mascara face, a slightly more natural makeup look. And I always like to give it about 30 seconds um, to kind of harden up a little bit before I go in with my second coat. And this is the one where I'm gonna like wiggle it at the base of the lashes a bit more. And this has got ingredients within it that are also, oh, that's the doorbell, really good for the lashes. So you're getting, oh my goodness. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. I feel like my lashes have multiplied. I mean, I think that using this as well definitely helps. I am gonna be doing some sponsored Instagram stories for this, so I should have a discount code which I will leave in the description box down below and on the screen if I get the code before I edit this video. If you did wanna try this out, I could not recommend this mascara any more highly. I have never got clumpiness from this mascara. That just looks so good. Right, I'm gonna do the rest of my, can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I'm not used to having such lash. Do the rest of my makeup and hair and I'll catch up with you shortly. And just like that, we are back in London. I don't know why I always use the royal we, it's literally <laughs> just myself. So for the past couple of hours, I have been at number one Harley Street. I went back to Sean, who I had my brows done by way back in 2016. I loved how they were back then. Um, and I was probably there for just over an hour. You basically wait for 30 minutes for the numbing cream to work. And then you go in and Sean does uh, a little doodle on your eyebrows, basically sketches in your dream brows, which is amazing. I feel like I do have a bit of Botox face at the moment because I don't want to raise my brows to show any expression because that might be a little bit tingly. And then, um, I did film a little hyperlapse, not sure if you'll be able to see much detail, you can definitely see more detail in the video from a few years ago, but she basically creates little scratches on the brows with dye in the scratcher, I think it's a little knife, um, and then she rubs dye in afterwards which just helps it to go a little bit deeper. I have a follow up appointment in about four to six weeks and I've got a little bit of aftercare stuff with me which is basically some coconut oil and I've been told to use a face wipe to clean the brows three times a day. or we'll clean them twice a day and apply coconut oil three times a day. I don't think I was very good at the aftercare last time. Um, I think I applied too much coconut oil and I don't think I actually cleaned them. I, because when I explained that they went a bit scabby last time, she said that definitely shouldn't have happened. But as you can see, um, the shape is fantastic. They are a little bit darker now than they will end up being eventually. 
a little bit stingy but not too painful i'm really glad i brought my fan with me um, because this is making it a whole lot more comfortable because it's quite a warm day and it's just taking away that slightly itchy kind of sensation so i'm on the way my way to spitalfields now going to meet robin and her friend charles at Walksmall, it's Robin's favourite restaurant now <laughs> and um, I'm very much looking forward to a steak and chips and macaroni cheese. Good morning my darlings, I feel the need to do this to pre-warn you. My brows are very very dark, they will lighten. Um, in fact, they'll go really, really light over the next few days and then they will come back in the colour that they're going to be. But right now, it's a little bit of a shock. <laughs> I feel like I feel like a bit of a meme right now. They, they're just super, super dark. My face is still a little bit puffy. It's early. But yeah, I just thought I would update you on the brow situation. So obviously, I was with Sean yesterday. I was in a taxi when I was talking to you about it, so I was probably feeling a bit self-conscious in front of the taxi driver but I had a lot of questions on my Instagram story so I just did a little boomerang of myself with the fan in the taxi so I thought I would quickly run through it in case you don't want to watch my video from five years ago I don't blame you if you don't it's a very old video so essentially when you get your brows microbladed and microblading can last between a year um, can last up to three years it really depends on your skin type Personally, I feel like my skin, um, because I have quite an oily skin type, it has quite a high turnover, and especially with all the facials and things like that that I like to treat myself to. So for me, I would say a year to a year and a half is how often it lasts. The process is really simple. Sean is, um, this is not sponsored, I paid for my treatment, but I have to give credit where credit is due. And as I said, I did get a PR treatment from Sean about five years ago. And I wanted to go back. I honestly think she is the best. So she's at number one high street and you go in and Sean's um, assistant applies some numbing cream. It needs to be on your eyes for about half an hour. And then you go into Sean's lovely bright room and she'll draw on the perfect shape for your brows. She's got all these apparatus to like make sure it's perfectly symmetrical, which is amazing. She draws them on with a dark pencil and then you approve your brows or make any tweaks. And then you lie down, the brows are obviously cleansed, and I think it's just like a little, a little sharp tool, and she basically makes little scratches in your brows, uh, there's dye on the tool, and then when she's scratched all one brow, she'll do another. It's not painful, it's not a comfortable experience, although apparently some people, the numbing cream works so well on that they can literally fall asleep through it, as you might have been able to see, Sean and I chatted <laughs> throughout the whole experience. At some points I was like, oh, that's a little bit sore. Some of them go a little bit deeper than others, but it's not painful. I think painful is is not the word. It was a little bit stingy when she then put the actual dye on. The dye gets like put on maybe for about a minute and then wiped off again. And then you're free to go basically. So I have an aftercare kit, some healing balm. Uh, what I've been told to do is use a face wipe to clean the skin, no water, no products, definitely no retinol or anything like that and then pop a tiny bit of the healing balm on. In her aftercare instructions, it does warn that day one and two, the brows are super, super dark, and then they'll go super light, and then slowly they will start to come back. They might flake a little bit, but I mean, if you guys are following my vlogs, you will see the whole process, I am sure. I was manically trying to film some stuff yesterday morning. Um, the video that you guys will have seen on Sunday, my dream holiday packing and kind of luxury haul, I also revealed in that video where we are going on a holiday. And I also filmed a couple of clips for some reels that I've got coming up. I do have some more sponsored content that I need to shoot in the next few days, so that'll be interesting. I'll just try and maybe do a bright red lip to detract from the crazy brows. Um, they did feel a little bit tingly for a while, so I was really glad I had my fan with me. I had it resting on the table while we had dinner. I had my usual at Hawksmoor fillet steak triple cooked chips, mac and cheese and creamed spinach and it was so good, a couple of glasses of rosé and great to catch up with the girls and then got the train home and here we are. Today is Saturday, we're about to go for a really nice, really long walk with our friends and I'm very much looking forward to it because my legs feel really tight. I did a killer workout with Charlie yesterday morning and I think I might actually do some stretches in a minute. But before we go, had an insane delivery yesterday and seeing as 
this video has had a lot of Elemis chat in it, I thought I would share it with you in today's video. So, this incredible trunk has arrived. It has got JF, my initials, on the top. And I thought that I would open it up and share with you what's inside. It also came with... <gasps> Oops, <laughs> I put all the press information back on it. This actually came with a kind of William Morris pattern umbrella with it as well, which is, it was just so beautifully presented. And this is to celebrate Elemis in Harrods. So, what do we have here? Destination tea. I think potentially we have got some fine, loose tea leaves. I feel like Harrods is just iconic for their afternoon tea. So we've got a giant teapot here, strainer, gorgeous mug, or cup, I should say, teacup. I think this lining is William Morris. It's absolutely beautiful. Then we have got their Dynamic Resurfacing Skin Smoothing Essence. This is another one of those products that's really good to use on a regular basis, just to keep the skin that kind of resurfacing, regenerating itself. Um, Try Enzyme Technology with Birch Sap Extract. Smooths and visibly improves skin luminosity for a glass-like complexion. Wow, that sounds amazing. I won't be able to use this anywhere near my brows for a little while, but that sounds incredible. What is this? A little voucher. Skin Wellness VIP. Ooh, epic. This card entitles the owner to a monthly complimentary Elemis HD skin consultation and product prescription at the Elemis Boutique in Harrods. Gosh, I cannot wait to check that out. I'm actually going in a couple of weeks um, to have a little look at the new Elemis area. Oh white chocolate straw charlie's already taken them he is such a minx <coughs> he better not have eaten them all i thought that was a bit light god that boy is such a pig wow look at this so we have got an iconic british telephone box and what is inside from london with love oh it slides out Oh, that is so lovely. Look at this. So we have got some of the most iconic Elemis products, the Superfood Facial Oil Pro Collagen Marine Cream, one of the best moisturizers in the world, dynamic servicing facial pads, and the, again, iconic <laughs> Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I wonder if they actually sell this or if this is a press thing, because that would be such a lovely gift, wouldn't it? And I think we have one more thing. That is so lovely, absolutely spoiled, and what a gorgeous trunk as well. So yes, according to the press release ha from Harrods, we are delighted to be launching the number one British premium skincare brand Elemis into Harrods, one of the world's most renowned department stores, a celebration of two British icons born in London. Our partnership pushes the boundaries of beauty innovation. So cool. I'm surprised Elemis wasn't in Harrods already, actually. It's just such an iconic brand. Yes, you can buy the telephone box set, the best of Elemis. Absolutely gorgeous, such a treat. Thank you so much to Elemis. Well, darlings, I think I'm gonna round the vlog off here. I don't think I will film anything when we're out and about with friends. We're just gonna have a really chill day. We've already got some curry ordered to watch the football later. I don't know how much the girls are into football. I'm kind of hoping that we can sneak into another room and just have a chat while the boys watch the football, um, but it's so nice for Charlie to be around some lads to watch it because I really don't have much to add when it comes to football conversation. But darlings, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon in the next one um, for a brow update. Ooh, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new and yeah.